So my name is Mei Lin and welcome back to my channel. I'm a flutist performer and music teacher located in the city of Kamloops, British Columbia and this is my channel where we learn all things flute. So thank you so much for joining me today. In today's video we'll be learning the popular song Hot Cross Bun. So if you're interested then just keep on watching. As always, if you do have any questions throughout the video, please feel free to drop them in the comment section down below. I do my best to answer them as soon as I see them. Also, if you are having issues when it comes to practicing, feel free to check out my free practice guide, also located in the description down below. It gives you eight easy steps to follow to help you to get a more guided practice session and also to create your own musical goals. All right, so with that, let's just get right into today's video. All right, so I'm gonna put my transcription of Hot Cross Buns um, right here. So this one is very, very easy. It's only a four bar melody. And essentially what you're going to do is after this, the end of this video, all you're gonna to have to do is repeat it a few times. We're always gonna check first our key signature and our time signature. So as we see here, the piece, first of all, we look at the key signature. In the key signature, we don't see any accidentals, so that means it's either in C major or A minor. And in this case, because there aren't any accidentals, we're only playing three notes, we are in C major. The time is four over four, so that means that we have four quarter notes per measure. So that means that there are four beats per bar. All right, and then the tempo is moderato. That means at a moderate pace. So that means you don't want to play it too fast or too slow. And it also says to play at a mezzo piano. So that is the dynamic marking. So that means it should be played moderately soft. You could also feel free to play it as loud as you want. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to clap and count the melody here. Feel free to cup along with me. I'm going to count us in one bar for nothing. I'm also going to put on a metronome in the background. So that is just something that is going to click every single beat. If you want to practice this by yourself with a metronome, I'm putting the beat to a quarter note equals 88 beats per minute. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. All right. Very good. So if you feel like you're a little bit uncomfortable with that one, feel free to go over that a few times and feel free to loop that little part with me. And so that'll help you to get a little bit more comfortable with the rhythm. Perfect. So now that we've learned the rhythm, now we're going to learn the notes. So the only notes that you need to learn for this one, or you need to make sure you recap is C, D, and E. So first we're going to start with C. So C, you're going to make sure you put down your left finger here, and you're also going to put down your right finger pinky. So this is what C sounds like. Then you're going to go up a letter name, and you're going to play D. So D is exactly the opposite of C. So that means you're going to have on your left hand fingers 3, 4, and your thumb, as well as fingers 1, 2, 3 on your right hand. So that's what sound like this. And then all you need to learn is E. So E is very similar to D. So you're going to have your index finger, your third finger, your fourth finger, thumb on the back, one, two, and the pinky. So not your fourth finger here. And this is what E sounds like. So just to recap, we just went over C, D, and E. Make sure that you feel comfortable and feel free to play a few long notes with that to give yourself a nice warm up. So warm up is when you are just picking up the instrument and you don't want to play the piece right away. You just want to kind of get some stretches in just like what you would do right before a run. So let's do a little bit of warm up together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have that metronome set at the exact same pace and we're going to go from C, D, E, and then we're going to play E again, E, D, C. All right, so here we go. One, two, three. So that's a great way to kind of get used to playing those three notes if you don't feel quite comfortable with them. All right, so now we're going to play the piece on the flute. So again, the quarter note equals 88 beats per measure. Feel free to take your time if you feel like this is a little bit too much, but it, this one should be a nice fun piece to learn. So one bar for nothing. One, two, 
Sí. So that is essentially be all that you need. Of course, if you do have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section down below. And also feel free to stick to the end of the video if you want to play along to an accompaniment that I'm going to make. All right, that's it gonna be it for today's video. As always, if you do have questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section down below. Um, I do my best to answer them as soon as I see them. Also, if you do have issues with practicing, check out my free practice guide, also located in the description down below. Also, if you're interested in any having a lesson with with me. I do offer online lessons right now and you can send me an email if you're interested to learn a little bit more at malinjenkinsmusic at gmail.com or feel free to check out my website as well www.malinjenkins.com. Thank you so much for watching and you are amazing, you are loved and never underestimate the power that you have as one amazing person in this world. And as always, happy flitting!